All right, today's video, we're gonna look at the advanced features on the ESOP Rebel. If you take a close look at the screen right now, we are in the Smart MIG setting and we're only in basic mode. And I'm gonna switch it over to the advanced features and you're gonna see the difference. So you can see right now, the screen is quite a bit different. This is like a voltage trim right here that you can adjust your weld to make it more concave or more convex. I'm gonna leave it right in the middle. One of the other features we're going to look at, we're just going to go into the parameters and you can see the different settings. This is basically cruise control here. You hold down the trigger, you go. This one here, I press the trigger, release it. It'll keep on welding until I press the trigger again. And we're going to go into that. We're going to try that feature out. Uh, Pre-flow, post-flow. One of the things I need to go into, where is it here? Yeah, the burn back. I'm gonna set it for 0.1 seconds because in the smart MIG mode, I don't know what it's set at, but when I was finished welding on the basic features, it would spit the wire out too far. So we're gonna set it up as 0.01 and see if I can adjust it to where I want it to sit. Now that you're in advanced mode, these features are gonna unlock a whole bunch of information, all the different um, settings, like even right here, you could see the different settings that um, technically you wouldn't use if you were in the basic mode we'll go into the left TIG and it's the same thing right here cruise control in the TIG mode so let's go back to smart MIG we got 0.3 wire. I think I got some 3.8 on there. I think that's the maximum we can hit with uh, 240 voltage. So I just got this set up. We're not going to weld nothing fancy. I didn't even clean the metal. We're going to do some dog shit welding here just to get some of those features set up. So the first thing I want to do is set the burn back. I got 0 0.01, so we're going to hit a weld and then we're going to check and see if the wire is going to come out the distance that I want it and if it doesn't we're going to keep adjusting it until I do have it set up the way I want it because right there you can see the wand, that's how much it's been shooting it out and yeah I don't like that at all, we need to shorten that up. So at 0 0.01 shoots it out too far. So let's go back into the parameters. Let's set it up to zero, see what happens. Here goes nothing. That's set up at zero. I can live with that. For shits and giggles, uh, let's just see what we can do. Let's go point 0.7, see what happens. This is point 0.07. I'm gonna leave it set up right there. I like that, 0 0.07. That's perfect for my liking. Let's go into the parameters. Let's hook up the cruise control. Alrighty, cruise control, here we come. If you're looking for weld porn, you're not going to find that here. We're just dog shit welding today, pissing around with the advanced features on the ESOP Rebel. Alright, well I'm going to end the video there of looking at the ESOP Rebel advanced features. 
I'm gonna honestly say I've been so impressed with this welder. I have used Lincoln, I have used Miller for years, and this is by far the smoothest welder I have ever used. And I am very impressed and glad that I spent the money to buy this because it is awesome. But this is gonna be the last video you're gonna see on the welder. The only other videos you're gonna see is when we're welding up projects which one is coming up in the very near future. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching.